In this lecture, we are going to discuss a problem on in-plane eccentricity. So that is shear plus shear. So here, the primary stress is considered to act directly on the weld and uh, that will produce a direct shear stress. And uh, in the case of uh, secondary stress, by considering the eccentricity of 125 mm, this will produce a torque on the weld region and because of the torque, a torsional shear stress is produced on the weld region. Okay, so it comes under shear plus shear that is case 2. So the problem is a bracket carrying a load of 15 kN is to be welded as shown in figure. Find the size of the weld required if the allowable shear stress is not to exceed 80 MPa. So in the problem, the load and the maximum allowable shear stress value is given. So from this we have to calculate the size of the weld that is H. So the given data is RP is equal to 15 kilo Newton and tau is 80 Newton per mm square. Okay. So here uh, the weld region and the load is acting on the same plane. Okay. So eccentricity is there. Actually this eccentricity will produce a twisting movement. So it will try to rotate uh, the region like this. Okay, so this will produce a torque in this weld region. This will not produce a bending stress on the weld. Okay, so it comes under case 2 because it is acting on the same plane. Uh, it is in plane eccentricity. And in case 2, the primary stress is shear stress and the secondary stress is also shear stress. We have to calculate the stresses individually. And finally, we have to calculate the combined tau value. And from the combined tau value, we have to calculate the size of the weld. So we will start from uh, the primary stress. So the primary stress is direct shear stress. So here the primary stress I have considered it as tau 1. So tau 1 is equal to P by A. P is the load acting and A is the weld area. And we know that uh, the equation for calculating the weld area is 0 0.707 H into L. In the problem, uh, the welding is carried on two sides that is a, a parallel fillet weld is carried okay so there is no weld in the transverse region only the parallel fillet weld is carried out and uh, uh, there are two regions that is why i have multiplied 2 into 50 okay so 2 times the 50 you will get 70.7 h so you will get uh, the area value in terms of h because we have to find out the value of h so you can substitute it here so the load is 15 into 10 power 3 and uh, the area is 70.7 H. So you will get a tau 1 value of 212 divided by H Newton per mm square. So this is the primary stress acting on the weld region. Now the secondary stress. So the equation for finding the secondary stress is tau 2 is equal to T divided T into R2 divided by J. So here T is the torque r2 is the radius and tau is the polar moment of inertia so first we will calculate the t that is torque so torque is equal to p into e that is load into perpendicular distance okay so here the perpendicular distance is 125 mm e is equal to 125 so remember that uh, the e is the distance between the load acting and the center of gravity of the weld region so that is very important so here uh, the distance is directly given. In some of the problems, they will give the distance from the load acting to the plate ending point. Okay, so this is not eccentricity. So if in the problem, if uh, the eccentricity is not given, then this from this 50 mm, you have to calculate the center of gravity. And uh, uh, from this distance, by adding with the eccentricity, you can calculate the torque. But here, the distance is directly given. That is the distance between center of gravity and the load acting is directly given that is 125 mm so you can directly take it so this is an important point so whenever you see a problem on outplane eccentricity first you just check whether the eccentricity is directly given or not so here the eccentricity is directly given that is the distance between center of gravity to the load acting so you can directly use the eccentricity value so the load is 15 into 10 power 3 and the eccentricity is 125 mm 
So the torque value is 187.5 into 10 power 4 Newton mm. Then R2. So construct a triangle here. So starting from G and ending at this point. So the topmost right corner of the well region. Okay. So this is the end point. So construct a triangle named A, B and C starting from the G. So this is the angle of the triangle theta and the hypotenuse is the distance R2. Okay. So here uh, the A is half of the 50 mm because the CG is at the center. So that is very important. Here the CG is at the center. That is why the problem is uh, a simple one. So if it is not at the center then uh, too many procedures are there to calculate the R value. Here everything is directly given. So A is half of the 50 mm and the distance, I mean uh, distance between A and B is half of the 50 mm and the distance BC is half of the 80 mm, 80 divided by 2. So this is 80 divided by 2 and this is 50 divided by 2. So you can calculate the R2 that is equal to root of AB square plus BC square. So hypotenuse is equal to root of adjacent side square plus opposite side square. So AB is 25 that is 50 by 2 and BC is 80 by 2 that is 40 mm. So you will get the R2 value of 47 mm. Further you just calculate the data value. I will tell you what is the purpose of calculating data later. So this is the angle data and we know that data is equal to tan inverse of opposite side by adjacent side. So it is BC divided by AB tan inverse of 40 divided by 20 that is equal to 60 degree. Okay, So we have calculated uh, torque R2 and data. So you, now we have to calculate the J value. And for calculating the J value we have to take the equation from the data book page number 11.5 just like uh, the Z equation. And uh, don't forget to multiply 0.707H with the equation. So here this is our problem and uh, in the problem the weld region is two parallel lines. So two horizontal parallel lines. It's not vertical. So if you take uh, data book page number 11.5 in that uh, the third drawing you can see that. So you can see the outline of the weld. It's a uh, two parallel horizontal lines and this is B and D. Okay. So for this uh, weld outline the J equation is b square plus 3b d square divided by I mean b cube plus 3b d square divided by 6 into 0 0.707 h. So don't forget to multiply 0 0.707. Okay. So here the b is the length of the weld that is 50 mm and the h is I mean d is 80 mm. So you can compare it uh, with your given problem. So write the equation for j that is b cube plus 3bd square divided by 6 into 0 0.707h. So try to take uh, all the equations from uh, data book. Don't uh, directly take the equation from my presentation. So refer the data book and take the equations. So here b is 50 mm. It is 50 plus 3bd in the drawing. So this is d and in the problem d is 80 mm. So it is 50 into 80 square by 6 into 0 0.707 h. So if you solve this equation finally you will get j is equal to 1,27,850 into h. So you will get in terms of h. Substitute everything in the tau 2 equation that is t into r2 divided by j. Substitute the value of t, r2 and j. So you will get tau 2 value as 689.3 divided by H. Okay, so now we have calculated tau 1 and tau 2. Now we can go into combined stress. So first calculate tau 1 that is primary shear stress then calculate tau 2 that is secondary stress. Finally calculate the combined shear stress. Okay, so here both the stresses are shear so that we can use this equation. So we don't need to use the principal stress equation because there is no normal stress is here. So both the stresses are shear stress. So tau max is equal to root of tau 1 square plus tau 2 square plus 2 tau 1 tau 2 cos theta. Okay. 
So substitute the value of tau1, tau2 and here data. So this is the purpose uh, for calculating the data. So we have already calculated it. Data is 60. Tau1 is 212 divided by h. Tau2 is 689.3 divided by h. Okay. So here you will have h square, h square and h square. You can commonly take the h square outside. So if you take it out of the root, then you will get 1 by h. Okay. So solve this equation, you will get 816.2 divided by h. That is equal to the maximum normal, I mean shear stress that is given in the problem, it is 80 Newton per mm square. So 80 is equal to 816.2 divided by h. Further, h is equal to 10.2 mm. Okay, so this is the size of the weld. Okay. So first, calculate the primary stress by using the equation tau1 is equal to p by a. So before that, the important point is identification of problem. So first identify whether it comes under case 1 or case 2. Okay, so here the weld and the load is acting on the same plane. That is why it comes under case 2 that is in plane eccentricity. So first calculate tau1 then calculate the tau2. So while calculating the tau2, remember that check whether the eccentricity is directly given or not. So here in eccentricity is directly given. In the next lecture, we will solve a problem on eccentricity not directly given. Okay. So in that calculate tau2 by calculating the t value. For calculating r2, you just construct a triangle. So in the triangle, ab value is half of the weld length and BC value is half of the plate width. Then along with the R2 calculate data. So this data, data will be used for calculating the combined stress. So after calculating tau1 and tau2, take uh, use the equation combined shear stress and uh, substitute all the values, substitute the allowable shear stress and calculate the size of the weld. Okay. So this is how we have to solve the problem on in-plane eccentricity. So the tutorial problem is a bracket carrying a load of 10 kN is to be welded as shown in figure. Find the size of the weld required if the allowable shear stress is not to exceed 80 MPa. So this is the given drawing. So here the weld is carried out at this plane and uh, the load is acting on the same plane. So it comes under case 2 that is in plane eccentricity. So shear and shear. First calculate tau1 then calculate tau2. So remember the word while calculating tau2 check whether the eccentricity is directly given or not. Here you can see that the CG point is given and the distance is given from the CG to load acting. So the eccentricity is directly given. Okay, So you don't need to uh, confuse anything. E is directly given. Just construct a triangle here that is A, B and C. So in the problem A is 60 by 2, I mean A to B is 60 by 2 and B to C is 100 divided by 2. Okay. So by using this calculate tau 2 then substitute tau 1 and tau 2 in the tau max equation and calculate the tau. Then in that substitute the value of tau as 80 mega Pascal and calculate the weld size that is H. Okay. So for this problem the weld size is equal to H is equal to 10 mm. 